Look at that. There's a little oil can. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, great decoration. I've been waiting to put those upper cabinet doors on until the exhaust fan was put in and I was waiting for the builder and I just put it in today uh, so I can get these cabinet doors on there right above the stove and yeah they actually um, it, this was supposed to be hardwired uh, they put a cord on it and uh, that's for this fan right here which doesn't work Well, this was just a one day short trip, but I got a lot done. Uh, I got most of the cabinet doors on. I still have to make some home, so I'll be doing that. Oh, I put the door back on. You know, at one point this was the back door that went to the outside before they enclosed it, so I cleaned it up. So I cleaned it up, put that back on, and then I put up this light that I uh, actually salvaged that yoke from uh, the old barn in the back. Found underneath a whole bunch of other steel and stuff. So I didn't add any of that red, that was the original. Just a little wiring, added a couple lights and then mounted it up there with a chandelier hook. I wasn't sure how it was really going to look once I got done with it, but I didn't want anything too big because this kitchen's pretty small, and I wanted it centered in the windows, so that worked out really good. Oh, in the corner here, that's an old gas can that was in one of those old barns in the back. I just cleaned it up a little bit, put some black wheat in it, and put that in the corner. So next time, I'm going to hang the uh, branch chandelier right there. And I'm hoping by then I can have my kitchen table back. It's there. I can see the legs. So it's getting closer. And then the last thing I'm going to do tomorrow, because it's late and I'm tired, is I'm going to hang up that saw. And I believe it's going to go above that cased opening between the living room and the kitchen. So that's about it. I am ready to get some sleep. Look at that beauty hiding in the woods here. I think they're um, edible. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not even going to pick it. But it's about 14 inches in diameter. It's gorgeous. Well, I really need all my tools back to make some more of the cabinet doors. But I didn't want to bring the tools back until I got done with this other project. So on this back porch that's enclosed, what I'm planning on doing is making um, kind of like a bench along that wall and some little boot racks underneath and probably some storage things on the side. I'm going to use that uh, cedar log, oh, coat hanger, I guess you call it, and put that on that wall. Now, this wall here, it used to be an exterior wall before they closed in this porch, and they sealed it with an exterior grade um, sealer. So the smell, the fumes from it is... Uh, a little bit more than I want. So I know it's beautiful yellow southern pine, but I'm going to seal it and then probably have to paint it. Mm -hmm.